Hello, good evening. Sorry I had to stop and restart the stream because I had to restart my OBS. But everything's working now. I couldn't, couldn't hear the audio coming back. We're here now. Yes, Alex is here. Hi, Chris. Yep. So every, everybody can hear everything correctly now. Everything was working, is just I couldn't hear the return audio back. So, the title, this is a very last second decision on what we were going to play tonight. I need to get my damn OBS up here. Hello. So I can see what the hell we're doing. We're playing the original. Oh. The original. Who wants to be a millionaire CD-ROM tonight? This is from a... When, what year is this from? This is from a 1999 or 2000. The background audio is a little up. Hang on. There. There we go. Is that better? We're playing the original Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? See, this is my original copy that I've had all... This is my original copy that I... Turn that down just a little bit. This is my original copy that I've had all these years. Broken case and all. <laughs> but Greg finally got DOSBox working. And I did. when I came home from work a few minutes ago, I did not know what I was going to do. I wasn't up for setting the second camera up for tonight. That'll be a future week. And uh, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was going to just throw a game in Retron and go with it. And then he, I saw he, he had DOSBox working. I'm like, there you go. So, uh, boy, I had a challenging day of work today, I'll tell you that. Wait a minute, why don't I do this? There we go, that's better. I had to adjust my mic, just, just the, how about I do this too? No, I don't know. Maybe I should twist it back that way. I don't know. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. You all are going to be helping me here. We're going to see if we can all win a million dollars tonight. All right. It's, it's going to be community play. need to turn the air conditioner down because it's going to get hot in here and oddly enough the air conditioner you can't see that shit it's too bright maybe if I do it this way hang on See it that way, Alex. Look, look what the thermostat set on. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We, we usually keep well. What? Let me adjust this. Hang on, this one. Right no, this one. There we go. That's better. Now watch your 69 jokes. You have okay. You have to be gay to make the proper 69 jokes. It helps. Okay, Chris and Alex, and I don't want I don't want to talk about anybody's sexuality, but my my fellow sisters in the room can back me up about the ability to make 69 jokes. The 
furnace flame sensor is being a ditz. Well, but we do, we have a heat pump, as you know, so we don't actually have a furnace. So my X is 69's major jokes. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Leave that alone. Here, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. <laughs> he wants to, he wants to be the center of attention, but he's a little he's a little live camera guy. Hey! Right. <laughs> he's head booping my leg. <laughs> oh, only you would do that during a bingo game, Alex. Pumpkin's right here on my leg. I'm so soft. You know. Leave the cords alone. Damn you, Dieta, Dieta Pepsi. I've heard. I, I hope that's a typo. I really do. Monday Nights was always homo bingo at Just John for years. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. That. Is it pronounced Dieta or Dieta? Dieta Pepsi? Dieta Pepsi. I gotta look. I gotta look this one up. Yeah. Okay. I. I found her. I found them. I should say. A lot of food porn in here in this Instagram. <laughs> a lot of good food porn in this Instagram, I'll tell you that. A lot of good food porn. I wish I, could, I wish I could see this food porn pick I'm looking at. It looks like ribs, chicken, and something else on top of bread. Oh my god, that looks good. That's 340 weeks ago. The last picture is 338 weeks ago, so they've not been on Instagram in a while. Okay. Is that drag queen still around, I wonder? Oh, we're less than a minute. So we're at the showtime. Stand in bed by some of her homemade friend chicken when they were closed. She went to rehab bar down the street. Okay. See you all over here so far, okay. Oh, 
Alright, she is still living. Got it. Alright, I'm gonna go over here to this uh, scene real quick. We're gonna wait a couple more minutes before we begin here. So we're gonna keep listening to some music. I wanna be sure I wanna be sure everyone's here who's going to watch the game. I guess while we wait here, I could look up. Okay, the CD-ROM, this CD-ROM came out in uh, 1999. So it's been uh, 24 years since it came out. It's the Hollywood Squares and Trapezoids. Not trapezoids, tr uh, triangles. Welcome to Hollywood Triangles. Oh, I'm sorry. Bam. Wait a minute. No. Welcome to Hollywood Triangles. Oh, Battle Stars. <laughs> I just totally made up the opening. That's not anywhere near the opening, but... Okay, let's go over here. That's enough music for the moment. All right, so uh, very simply, we're going to play some Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And uh, <laughs> uh, Greg isn't in the chat yet. He's still in the uh, shower, his post-work shower, as he always does. Uh, so... Uh, he will be around in a moment. I've got the screens reversed from how I usually have it tonight. Okay, so uh, we're going to play some uh, CD-ROM Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I am going to go over to this scene. I've got the game already loaded. Uh, actually, hang on just a moment. Okay, so... All right, so I'm going to go over to here, and here is DOSBox running, folks. Uh, we're running a Windows 98 DOSBox. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire up the game right here. Is there anyone in the chat who's used DOSBox before? Let me know. I'm going to re release the mouse because I don't need it. For this game. Okay, I might have to turn this down some so you can hear me better. Oh, this is so, this is, brings back so many memories, you know. Quality graphics. Who wants to be a millionaire? Hi, Regis. How you doing? Welcome to the show. How many players will be playing? Uh, one. Whoa, hang on. One player, huh? All right, that's fine. Do you need to go over the rules of the game? I don't think we need the rules, do we? know? Everyone knows and how to play this game. Call you? Great. 
effects. We're all set, so let's play. Let's take a look at your first question. Oh, I... Oh, really? I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with this one. So you think it's D. And that is correct. Okay, the first one's under your belt. You're 14 questions away from the million. Let's see your $200 question. of the pencil dig Dutch come from? Hmm. Germany? You think it's B. And you are correct. That's a hefty $200 in your pocket. And now you're just 13 questions away. Now let's take a look at your $300 question. Uh, yeah, I know this one's 35, final answer. Okay, you like the answer C. You got it. And that nets you 300. 12 more, you could be looking at a cool million. And let's take a look now at your $500 question. And he played golf, right? Okay, you're going with A? That's it. All right, you've got yourself $500. Okay, here it is. Time now for your $1,000 question. Here we go. What Mexican holiday takes place on me? It's not a Mexican holiday. It's not a Mexican holiday of anything. Okay, you think it's answer C. And you couldn't be more right. It's not, don't confuse A with C. Hey, that was great. You won $1,000. You're now just 10 questions away from the big $1 million jackpot. And I'm happy to inform you, you've reached a safe haven. $1,000 is yours to keep regardless of how you do in the rest of the game. Now for $2,000, here it comes. The capital of Italy, it's, I believe it's Milan, is it not? I think it's Milan. Hey, you don't have much time left. Remember, I'm going to pause here. This is what I used to do. Rome is the capital of Italy. Are you sure? Okay, it's on you, Andrew, if I get it wrong. You can. And is that your final answer? All right, you, you think it's A. You got it. Two thousand dollars. Whoa, you're really climbing now. Just don't blow it. For four thousand dollars, here we go. Shot heard around the world marked the start of World War One. A final. Okay, All right, going so with you. A is your answer. And that is correct. It could have been C. Got it. You see how much I suck at this game? Well, now you've reached the $4,000 level. Eight more correct answers, and you'll, well, you'll be paying a lot more taxes. 
Up next, your $8,000 question. Here we go. Huh. That's a very good one. I think you're right too. I think it's turkey. B turkey, final answer. So you're going with B. And you're absolutely right. $8,000. Eight thousand now yours, and you're halfway there. Now moving on up, let's go on to your sixteen thousand dollar question. Oh, <laughs> what is the name of the pig? Wilbur. Right, A, Wilbur. So you're going with A, huh? That's it. Okay, you've now won sixteen thousand dollars. Congratulations. Now here it comes for thirty-two thousand. Oh my goodness. Bubbles. Bubbles. I remember this one. Is it is it not Bubbles? The name of his chimpanzee. Yeah. C. Final answer. So you're putting your money on C. And you are correct. $32,000 is yours. Nice work. And just so you know, regardless of what else happens in this game, you get to keep the $32,000 you have right now. So, nothing to lose here. Let's have a look at your $64,000 question. Ah, uh, Blake Rogers Nelson. Final answer. All right, you're going with D. Prince Rogers and Nelson. You're right. <laughs> Prince Rogers Nelson. Blake had nothing to do with it. Okay, you're at $64,000. Things are starting to get interesting. Now on to the $125,000 question. All right. Oh, goodness. Which flavor was not one of the original flavors of Kool-Aid powder drink mix? Grape, banana, root beer, lemon, lime. The clock sucks in this game. I'm going to pause it right there. Because it, it should not give you just 30 seconds to answer a question. 50-50 it. I'm trying to save that. You know? Someone just dropped it on the stream. They're wondering what the hell happened. It's called the timer sucks in this game, and I wish I could take it out. You know, I wish there was a cheat code for an infinite clock. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which one it is. What is not one? I hear Pumpkin yell. He, Greg just came out of the shower, by the way. Does anyone know which one it is? Boy, it's a dead, dead, silent chat here.
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Better make a. Okay, pick a lifeline. I'm gonna ask the audience. Very well. Let's ask the audience. Okay, 55 there safe it banana. Is. Hope it helps. You have 15 seconds to answer. Okay, select a lifeline. Go to 50-50. Going with the 50-50 option. Computer, would you please eliminate two of the four answers, leaving only one wrong answer and the correct answer? Banana and root well, beer. there you go. You now that have didn't 15 help. seconds. Okay, which is it? Banana or root beer? I don't think the phone a friend would help here. These are pre-recorded phone of friends, by the way. It's not the real phone of friend. My gut says root beer. Okay, what? Cough, cough, C. Don't. Let's not do that, please. You're gonna. Your <laughs> your gut says a lot. <laughs> Andrew, let's not play play the scandalous type here. I, just straight answers, please. So, so what does everybody think? Is it root beer or root beer or banana? Which was not one of the original flavors of Kool Aid? Banana or root beer is what the two answers are. I'm repeating it because I'm waiting for Greg to get in the damn chat, <laughs> and Greg is not there yet. Greg, help. <laughs> well, he's not. Okay, so I'm going with root beer here. All right. So you like C. I'm afraid you're incorrect. Ah! Gosh. Here's what you should have picked. And the game's not advancing. The game is stuck. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, hi. Uh, Greg, I'm going to need some help here with this DOS box because the game is locked. It's stuck there and is not advancing. working okay I tell you what hang on yeah Greg you're gonna have to get in here and help me <laughs> This is the fine quality Twitch content you come here for, you know? It, it got here and stopped. It, it is supposed to go on from this, but it, it just stopped. And you hear it's just playing the music. I can't do control delete because that 
that brings up the whole computer's test, uh, uh, the lock screen. Welcome to DOSBox Troubleshooting, live on a Friday night stream. Hey, at least I'm taking this in good spirits, aren't I? Yeah, we could reset the virtual machine. Or we're rebooting it. Oh, look at this. <laughs> we're essentially rebooting the computer right now. Re rebooting the computer. I mean, this is my first experience with using DOSBox myself. I've known it, it has existed, but I've never, never actually used it before. Yeah, so this is this is this is fascinating to me. No, I'm having a good time with this. I, and the cat's going nuts. I mean, let, me, let me pull this down here so you can see it. At least it's going to be entertaining. All right, I see nothing. Nope, there it is. Here it comes. Oh, that sound. That's a memory. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, my goodness gracious me. Come here. Come. Start. Programs. Disney Interactive. To be a millionaire. Wants to be a millionaire. Can you... Can you guys hear the air conditioning through my microphone, by the way, or is it just me? And nothing is happening, Greg. Okay, it's just me then. It's just me and the headphones on this mixer. Nothing is happening. I don't know if it has the uh, disc. No, it's there. Okay. It, it, it did. For some reason, it didn't work from the from the start menu shortcut. And it's doing nothing, Greg. No, there it goes. Never mind. And it just crashed. What the fuck? What the hell's going on? I'm about to get angry at my husband. Well, not really, but... So, what the hell's happening here? Try running this again. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Where's the goddamn task manager? Oh, good Lord. Greg, you better get your ass in here again.
This drive, where, where is this drive? Is this drive, is it even doing a CD? No, I had to load it from a, a ISO file. Oh, oh, the ISO file is, okay. So we had to reboot. You saw what happened, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then why in the hell did you get in here sooner? <laughs> okay, we might get one more game in. Considering this might work. Nope, did it again. What is that supposed to be? Okay, nothing, nothing said this was easy, you know. Why does this have to be so gall flipping difficult? Meanwhile, the cat's going crazy behind us in the floor, you know. Chore Takes Photos says, quit breaking things. And it did, and no. What if computers never been a pain in the ass, folks? Uh, let me let me tell you honestly right here. So we got <laughs> when I had my Apple II Plus. Chris says, "Was it was was it Apple II Plus really a pain in the ass?" Honestly. Oh, okay. You're saying it's the other, you never had an issue. Uh oh, we're uninstalling. Did someone just ring in on Hollywood Showdown? <laughs> because it was the same sound. So, do you have to do this every time you want to play the goddamn game? I think it corrupted itself. I think I would have had. I think I would have had better luck playing the uh, box game. <laughs> My, one of my plans is to get out the box game and actually use the music from the show, just play back locally off the hard drive and have someone else play the game. Maybe we'll do that uh, on a future week. Good lord, a cat just went by my legs. Yeah, we love to praise how much faster stuff has gotten. I mean, you know how long it's taking to install hostgen.dat. Wait a minute, was this game on other systems? I, I want I want to say that this game was on other platforms at the time. 
the original play the original PlayStation. I was about to say, Chris. There was a Game Boy version? Why the hell do we have that? Oh, why didn't you tell me that? Okay, if we can't get this to work, we're going to load that one up, okay? So we have a backup plan in mind. All right, Game Boy Advance. You heard the man. You, you, you heard him. Oh, Al, I hit. You all heard that. <laughs> I, no, I, I didn't hurt myself. It's just I heard the thunk of my earphone hitting the microphone, you know. <laughs> hey, I can take these, I can take this in stride, you know. So anyone up for a game of Virtual 52 Pickup? There, I'll do that. Just get the microphone in a different position for just a little bit. You think this is bad? Try installing OS2 from Floppies. <laughs> the hell's... Okay, some kids were going by on scooters out on 17th Street. Now, what the hell is this? Okay, we're rebooting into Windows 98, folks, on the DOS box. Now, I, I have this set up as a display capture, so it, it's it's a little off right now. You have to... Oh, there we go. Here it comes. I'll step back and... In full stereo, everybody. Did you hear that? Now, cross your fingers. And nothing. Whoa, okay. Now, this is a good sign. There we go. I have to move the window a little bit, but. All right, is everybody still around? Everybody still awake? This is old even then. Hey there, I'm Regis Philbin. Welcome to the show. How many players? Awake is a relative term, not me. There we go. One player, huh? Okay, do you need me to go over the rules of the game for you? No. Hi, Jeff. I'm going to need your name. Okay, let me show you something cool in this game. Great, thanks. Oh, <clears throat> it let me be Regis. <laughs> All right then, let's play. I thought it was supposed to not let you be Regis. I, maybe it's let's just take me. a look at your first question. I don't know. It's all fake money anyway. Which fashion designer is responsible for the polo line of clothing? A uh, brewer. Oh, that's in the second edition. Oh well, you, Greg, you can tell. I don't know this. 
Oh. You're going with B, huh? And you're right. Something. Okay, the first one's under your belt. You're 14 questions away from the million. Okay, you can reject Let's my see gay your card now. Let's your $200 question. Or revoke. Oh, God. Let's get past this question. Okay, you like the answer C. Nobody else and answer it. That is correct. Okay, you've got $200. You still have 13 questions to go get that million. Now let's take a look at your $300 question. Yeah, I'll rapid eye movement. B. Final answer. You say B, you got B. And you couldn't be more right. Okay, so in the second edition, if you tried to put Regis's name in, he would object and erase your name and well, give you, you now an have like imposter or just a phony. dozen questions to go. And That's let's take a look to. now at your $500 question. We'll play the second edition on a future night. Do, re, mi. What? Okay. You think it's D? That's your answer, D? And you are correct. There you go. This is a community fake money game. All right, you've got yourself $500. Okay, here it is. Time now for your $1,000 question. Here we go. Oh, El Nino is an ocean current C file answer. You say it's C. And you're absolutely right. got a grand now. Ten more correct answers and you'll be rolling in it. And you've reached the safe haven. That means that no matter how you do in the rest of the game, nobody can take away your $1,000. Now for $2,000, here it comes. Who shot JR? Mary Shepard. Mary, Mary Crosby. <laughs> Kristen Shepard, final answer. Okay, Maggie Simpson. C. Maggie Simpson shot Mr. Burns. You got it. Yeah, Maggie Simpson shot Mr. Burns. Accidentally. Hey, way to go. You're up to $2,000. For $4,000, here we go. Hmm. Which teeth are primarily responsible for grinding food? Hmm. C, D. Answer C is the one you want? I got three C's, so I'm going with C. And you're absolutely right. Yep. Well, now you've reached the $4,000 level. Just in case Eight anyone has any questions your... about... Well, you'll be paying a lot more taxes. Up next, the emulation is that we have the actual CD ROM of the game, so I didn't download it from anywhere. The city of Omaha, Nebraska is in the central time zone. B, final answer. You think it's B. That's it. I should know that. 8,000, now yours, and you're halfway there. Now, moving on up, let's go on to your $16,000 question. What are the first names of the Hardy Boys? Well, it's not Daryl and Daryl, that's for sure. I don't think it's Harry and Tom. Matt and Jeff. It's not an answer. Uh oh, time is running out. Don't forget, you can use. All right, you want to use a lifeline? Go ahead, hit one. I'm buying more time here. What is it, folks? 
Not gonna pick a lifeline. Okay. What is the what is the answer, folks? A, I think. Yeah, it's not Daryl and Daryl. I thought C. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Wish I, I I hate the damn clock on this thing. I really do. See. And is that your final answer? All right, well, I'll give you 10 more seconds to think about it. Is it Frank and Joe? Or is it Harry and Tom? Okay, I think I'm going to go to the audience on this one. Hold on. Okay, pick a lifeline. See what the audience says. Okay, let's see what the people had to say. Oh, look at that. Well, I'd say they're leaning in a certain direction, wouldn't you? 15 seconds on the clock, please. All right, you, you think it's A? You got it. I'm glad I changed my mind. Hey, nice work. You're on the brink of securing yourself some serious cash. Now here it comes for 32,000. Oh, yes. Yes. B, final answer. You want B, huh? And you are correct. No, I'm not Google. $32,000 is yours. Nice. Now, wait a second. Before we go on, before we go on, let us talk about what happened in the original run of the show. One time on a phone a friend. Several of, several of you here will remember this episode. Uh, when they phone a, quite frequently, whenever you'd phone a friend, you start, well, I don't want to do it because I'll, I'll mess up the game, but you start hearing the clacking of keys over the phone. Yeah. People searching for it on the internet. Yeah, that did happen. You know, not not specifically Google, but someone looking up in a search engine, you know, so yeah. Nice work. And you've reached another safe haven. That means the thirty two thousand dollars in your pocket is yours to keep, no matter how the rest of the game goes. So, question nothing 11, to lose here. Let's have a look at your $64,000 question. Okay, Glassnost. I don't think I mean I don't think it's D. Yes, select a lifeline, please. Let's keep doing this. You don't have to pick a lifeline if you don't want to. That's fine. Okay, select a lifeline. What does everyone think here? Not gonna pick a lifeline, okay. I think it is C. I'm gonna see what the phone of friends says. Go ahead, says. choose your lifeline. You'd like to phone a friend? Okay then. We'll call out my friend Johnny to help us out. Body shop. Johnny, is that you? It's Regis. Ah, my friend Regis. Hey, I got a question for you. Are you ready? Yep, shoot. Here we go. 
Glasnost, Glasnost. Let's see. I think at least if I remember correctly, gla uh, Glasnost means friendship. I don't have much time for politics down here in the garage, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think uh, that's what it means. In fact, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure it does mean friendship because I remember Russians were trying to be more friendly back when that term was uh, flying around, Rich. Hey, you seem pretty sure. Yep, B, friendship. All right, good. Thanks a million, Johnny. Glad to help, glad to help. Talk to you soon, Rich. What do you think? He says it's B. Okay. Okay, I'm going to permit somebody to Google it, okay? Because I want to see if that phone a friend was really stupid. Or I'll tell you what. Hey, Google. What does the word glasnost mean? Here's the definition of glasnost in the former Soviet Union. The policy or practice of more open consultative government and wider dissemination of information initiated by leader Mikhail Gorbachev. It's openness. So you're putting your money on C. And you're right. See, that's why well, the phone friends garbage in this game. Okay, you've got sixty-four thousand dollars. I just want to see. Like a lot of money I've never this, seen what remember, happens when the million was won in this game. So. One million dollars. Everyone, help me Let's with Google, now, okay? I want to see what happens when you win this game. Question. Where was the first skyscraper built? Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York City. Oh goodness. Fifty-fifty, it is. Yeah. Computer, would you please yeah. eliminate two of the four answers, leaving only one wrong answer and the correct answer? Well, there you go. You now have fifteen seconds. Chicago. So you say it's answer B, and that is correct. Well, now we're out of lifelines, folks. Excellent work. You've got $125,000 in your pocket. Let's go on to a quarter of a million dollar question. Oh, goodness. Uh. Goodness gracious. What does everyone think here? Time is... Uh, uh, you, they, they have to put this damn thing up over you to where you can't look at the question. Q and Z are both 10. So Quartzy is running out. Final answer. Is that it? Hey, it seems like you're not so sure. I'll give you 10 more seconds to think about it. So you're going with A, huh? That's it. Duh. I took a wild stab at it there. You're at $250,000. Get the next question right, and you'll double your money. Get it wrong, and you'll lose 218000 No pressure. All right, let's go on for one half million dollars. Everybody be ready here, okay? Oh, goodness. This should be an easy one for everyone to look up. I want to say it was Trent Lott, if I remember correctly. B. Hey, you're running out of time. And that is your final answer? Okay, so you choose B. Choose B. I'm so sorry, that's the wrong answer. No! Let's take a look at the correct answer. 
Oh. 32,000 dollars. You were almost there. Boy, it drives you crazy, doesn't it? It gets to you. Well, don't worry, because you can always come back and play another round of... <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, if you would, type in your name, please. Very good. Okay, let's play. Okay. Remind me, everyone, before we begin here, I think that there was a UK CD-ROM, was there not, uh, for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And if I recall correctly, it did not have this bloody clock in it. Because this bloody clock was a bad idea in this game. You should be able to think as long as you want about the answer, just like on the goddamn TV show. Right? Oh, I always hated that about this game, and it's making... It's not making my blood boil, but it's very, very irritating and stupid. All right. Here's the first question. <laughs> yeah, shopping for used cars, watching a violent movie, riding a roller coaster. So you think it's D? That's it. You won the hundred, but before you pat yourself on the back, you've still got 14 more questions to go. Yeah. Now let's take a look at your $200 question. Uh, two points, that would be 30. C, final answer. So you like C. You are absolutely correct. Now remember, as you go higher on the on the ladder, the, as the audience becomes level. more Big unreliable. Deal. And here's the $300 question. I had this one in, in the game I had to abandon. Well, no, I had this one. This is a repeat. You're going to go with D, huh? And that is correct. And that nets you 300. 12 more, you could be looking at a cool million. And now yeah, let's yeah, go on to your $500 question. It. Let's move it. You have a margin commercial to get to. But who's on the dime? Yeah, it's Franklin Roosevelt. All right, you're going with D. And that is correct. Yeah, I blanked there for a moment. All right, I knew you're it up to five hundred dollars. One more correct answer, and you'll guarantee yourself some money. For the big one thousand dollar question, check it out. <laughs> Doc Holliday was a dentist. Final answer. So you're going with B. And you're absolutely right. Hey, that was great. You won $1,000. You're now just 10 questions away from the big $1 million jackpot. And now you've reached a safe haven. No matter what you do from here on in, you cannot lose that $1,000. Now for $2,000, take a look. <laughs> Troy! <laughs> no! No, no! You say it's C. And that is correct. I wonder what's in all those horrible cars! <laughs> the tail, the tail! You've oh my $2, god! Moving right along and just Troy, nine send him the link. Now for four thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, uh, hang on, but I, I will I will explain what it is. Troy Troy takes photos is a great fellow Twitcher of mine, and that's the rest of the explanation. You don't want to know how the sausage is made. It's actually from the sixties, Greg. 
at the beginning of the film, the t- there's two kids sitting and watching a train goes by, and one of them says, I wonder what's in all those hormone cars. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Camptown races, five miles long. Answer C is the one you want? That's it. I know that song. Oh, do da day. Okay, now you've got four thousand dollars. Eight doo-dah, questions stand doo-dah. between you and a million bucks. For eight thousand dollars, don't be nervous. Get ready. Here it is. Oh, huh, yeah, the tail. Oh my God, the tail. The Rift Tracks version. Okay, I'm gonna need help with this because this is as of 1999. Okay, pick a lifeline. I want to say Barry Sanders. But maybe it's Walter Payton. You don't have to pick a lifeline if you don't want to. That's fine. Yes. Is it Walter Payton? Please. Payton is currently number two, but who's number one? Not gonna pick a lifeline. Okay. Oh, so it is C. So you like C. You got it. Who's number one now, Greg? Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith, okay. That makes sense. Hey, look at you. You reached $8,000. You're cruising right along. Okay, now let's take a look at your $16,000 question. Where is Stonehenge? Well, <laughs> oh. You chose D. And you are correct. That was easy. That was easy. Okay, that puts you with $16,000, only six questions away from becoming a millionaire. But $32,000, good luck. Yeah, Bill Murray was not an original cast member of Saturday Night Live. A, final answer. All right, so A is your answer. You are absolutely correct. Absolutely 100% positive on that. Yeah, it is a tough one. Okay, that puts you at 32 grand. Five questions. Bill away. Murray replaced and Chevy Chase the on, the show, on the show. dollar milestone, which means that you get to keep that money even if you miss a question later on. Okay, you've got that thirty-two thousand secured. Let's see if you can double it. Now, which country is not a member of NATO? Is Iceland a member of NATO? Okay, select a lifeline. Hmm. It's Turkey. You don't have to pick a lifeline if you don't want to. That's fine. All right, you want to use a lifeline? Go ahead, pick one. Going with the phone a friend option? All right. I'm going to get this one out of the way because it's probably going to be stupid. Body shop. Hi, Johnny. Well, what do you know? Same one. Philbin. I got rages here. Oh, you flatter me. Hello? Rages. Ready for a question if you got one for me. Okay. Here we go. Which country is not a member of NATO? Which of these countries is not a member of NATO? Let's see. What do we have here? The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, huh? You know, Rage, I don't pay much attention to politics, but I'm guessing that since China is so much farther away from the Atlantic than the rest of them, that it's probably the one that's not a member. So I'm going with uh, A, China. Okay, then great. Appreciate your time, as always. Johnny goes with A. What are you going with? All right, would anyone care to clarify that real quick? I want to be sure of the answer before I answer it. China final. 
Okay, I got two votes for China. I got three votes for China, actually. I've got Andrew's question up, or answer up there. Everybody else think it's China? This is a group decision. We're all playing this game right now. A, a, a everyone thinks China? Okay. You're going with A. Yep. And you are correct. I was thinking China. You're getting closer. You now have $64,000 and the highest score of the night and only four questions away from $1 million. Now we go on to your $125,000 question. <laughs> okay. He was referring to South Korea, wasn't he? Because that was the Korean War. Go ahead, choose your lifeline. This <laughs> park. That was the Philippines? That was World War II. Not gonna pick a lifeline. Okay. Okay, select a lifeline. Okay, so that shows you what I know. I'm gonna wait. You don't have to pick a lifeline if you don't want to. That's fine. Okay, you think it's answer C. That's it. You've reached $125,000. You're so close to that $1 million, I can smell it. Now for one quarter of a million dollars. Take a look. Okay. During what war did Francis Scott Key write the words to the Star Spangled Banner? I think it was during the War of 1812, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, pick a lifeline. It's definitely the War of 1812. I knew, I did know this. Yeah. I'm just buying more time. Not gonna pick a lifeline. Okay. B. So you say it's answer B. You got it. This is how far we got last time, folks. $250,000. Let's see if you can answer two more. Now, here it comes for a half million dollars. Hippophobia. It's not D. That would, that would be... I think it's elephants. Okay, you're running out of time. Horses? It's horses? I, w I wonder about the etymology of that. Is that your final answer? Yes. Hmm, okay. You're going with A? You are absolutely correct. Man, I'm getting nervous for you. You're just one question away. For one million dollars, here is your question. Which of these fabrics is actually a wood product? Polyester, nylon, cotton, rayon. Well, we're going to use the lifelines here. All right, here. you want to use a lifeline? Go ahead, pick one. All right, then, the let's audience. take a look at what our poll reveals. This is the last question. Use all your lifelines now. They okay. said cotton. There it is. Hope it helps. You have 15 seconds to answer. And now, I'm going to use the 50-50. Going with the 50-50 option. Computer, please eliminate two of the four answers, but make sure that one of the remaining answers is the correct one. Ah, look at that. There it is. You now have 15 seconds to The choose. audience answer is gone. Is it polyester or rayon? Poly is actually a wood product. Polyester is man-made. So that would be a no, right? So it must be rayon. 
All right. Are y'all ready? Here we go. Final answer? Cross your fingers, everybody. So you think it's D. Yes, that's it. Congratulations, you made it. You're a millionaire. Comes the confetti. Time to buy mink underpants. So there you are. You're a millionaire. Yeah, could you believe it? Don't believe it. Just kidding. You're kind of a millionaire. You're a fake millionaire. But you had a good time, didn't you? What else do you want? We all love you. Congratulations. I beat Regis. got the date correct. fun with this by the way let's let's pause that for a moment everyone having fun with this i mean i have fun now that we won a game <laughs> let's see here it's only 12 51 uh should i chance one more game or is the game too long what do you think uh i'll let it be i'll let it be a community decision here you want to go one more game or not I always have fun. Okay, let's let's try. Greg, will you get me both the pills I need, please? And another orange soda before we begin this quest again. You see, Greg takes good care of me. He's a great husband. There he goes. <laughs> Game Boy version? Oh! Oh, that's a very good idea. So, I tell you what. I tell you what, let's come back to this now. Let's come back to this. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that and uh I'm gonna have Greg help me load this up real quick when he gets back in here. Does the Game Boy version have an annoying timer on it? <laughs> Okay, we're going to find out if we have it on the Retron here. Hopefully we do. Are you surprised, by the way, Greg, that the uh, audience favorite on the boat got eliminated in the 50-50? Nope, not, not, neither am I. But it makes sense. If you have lifelines on the table at the last question, use them. It's the last question of the game. Save them for as long as you can. The cat is sitting over there judging us now outside in the hall. What's going on? It wasn't it wasn't loaded, was it? That sounds like a sounds like a problem a lot of people have. It wasn't pushed all the way in. Oh yeah, uh, what was his name? John Carpenter, the very first million dollar winner. Yeah, he he did not use a single lifeline. Yeah, he he really wasn't using his lifeline. I just call you and told you I'm going to win the million dollars. Okay, we have the second edition of Game Boy Who Wants to Be... Hang on just a moment here. We have the uh, 
second edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. There's no connected controller. What? Okay, so let me make sure this is turned down first of all. Yeah. You worked for the IRS. <laughs> and there's no audio here yet. Eurocom Entertainment Software. So this is... Okay, this came out in 2000. Okay. There's no audio. There's no audio. I don't have any audio. Why don't I have any audio? This is strange. Well, why don't I have any audio here? Makes no sense without the audio. Hold on here. I'm getting no audio from this at all. This was working last week. You want to reboot the Elgato capture real quick? Let me let me come out to show intro real quick. Maybe it's something to do with that. Okay, it went to a pause. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on here. I'm still getting nothing. I don't know what the hell is going on here. What is it with technical problems? I tell you what. Okay, so obviously this isn't going to work because the damn Elgato capture is assigned to be a jerk right now. Either that or it's Windows with all the USB devices being a jerk. Still no audio. Probably something in OBS. What do you mean it's something in OBS? It is not. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> you want to know what I had? You don't want to know what I did? I had the damn pot turned down. Yep. 
I'm a stupid ass idiot. Okay, hang on, so we can get the whole experience here. Let's reset this. Whoa. So we can get the whole experience here. There we go. Okay, everybody still here? You guys are hearing us in stereo, aren't you? Let me turn this down just a little bit. Boy, that's, that was a crappy sound. So this is a bad rendition of the theme, you know. Oh, and there's a clock here, too. Not so much Regis snark here. Jelly Vision have anything to do with this one? No, it didn't. They did not. So, Bordeaux wine comes from France, doesn't it? Ah. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. That's a that's a law of relativity, right? No, A. Okay. Thank you, Greg. You guys are gonna have to be quicker with these responses, because I I can't Well, I could pause the game. Someone take a uh this would be the blue whale, wouldn't it? Or is it? Oh, you said A, okay. Yeah. What is this one? 
with Scotty Pippen. Uh. Seriously? Uh... This game sucks. I hate 30 second timers. I hate 30 second timers. Thank you. Single term in the U.S. Senate is six years final answer. Blink and you'll miss it on that one. John D. Rockefeller made his uh, fortune in the oil industry. Or was it railroad? Was it oil or railroad? It wasn't steel. That was Andrew Carnegie. Hmm. Now's the time to burn the phone a friend. Ah, uh, look at this. What was this? Everyone should remember this. Piggyback, sack of money. Tell, I think it was a, was it a sack of money that was added around 2000? Wait a minute. Globe. It wasn't a globe. I don't think it was a telephone. I want to say it was a sack of money that was added. Piggy bank. Money bag. Yeah. Yep. I remembered correctly. Greg would disown me if I didn't get that. Yep. Okay, Ada Lovelace is credited with being the first person to have made what? the answer you all are still helping me out here I don't think it's a souffle Ada Lovelace Ada ADA Lovelace computer that's what I was thinking it might be yeah yep I was thinking it was a computer program Through a so-called line of death over what body of water? The Persian Gulf is not a body of water. 
So that's a misleading answer. Pumpkins here. Oh, it is? So what's the answer then? But that's not the answer. No. What is the answer? Red Sea, Gulf of Oman, Gulf of Sidra. Sidra. All right, we're in the same position we were on the last game. All right, so select. Look at that. Okay, which one is it? Victoria or Magellan? The first ship to sail around the world. I honestly couldn't tell you from those two. Victoria. I'm going to wait for a couple more confirmations here before I go with it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. dollars yeah. oh yeah remind me come on what did you really expect I mean I can't have a million dollars every person that's lucky enough to answer 15 trivia legends in a row Okay. Was this game released in the United States? Greg, I wish to have had read a story. Oh, yeah, of course. Duh, Nick. Greg, I wish to apologize for the pot being turned down. <laughs> that was my fault. So I turned it down at the end of last week's show. Because I'm nothing if not honest here. All right, so I'm going to end it here. So, come Monday night, we have a very special contribution uh, that was made to the channel as the very first show. So, you want to be here for it. It's a very famous episode of Price is Right from early 1976. And uh, you're going to want to be here for that. With Jeopardy on... <laughs> what does that mean? The only system that printed winnings was Jeopardy on Adam. What system is that? Oh, the Coleco Adam. It okay, came with a printer, and it printed a check. You know, I, that... Hold on here. I'm going to look this up, because I am curious. Oh my god, I am... S 
Someone did a video of it on YouTube. I found the uh, manual. Hold on here. Oh, good Lord. That's not going to work. Does it mention that in here? Okay, it says here in the instructions manual, Adam has a special prize in store for the winner. Follow the instructions in the message area and use the smart keys to get your prize. And if you wish, you may start a new game. I'm guessing that's the printout they're referring to. For the, uh, for the current, okay, yeah. Are there Coleco Atom emulators out there, I wonder? Hmm. Interesting. All right, so... <laughs> so we might have to look into that at some point. All right, so I think I'm going to end the stream here, everyone. Uh, I've been on for oh, almost two hours. So, uh, like I said, join me Monday night for a very special famous episode of Price is Right from early 1976. One of the most famous, infamous moments on the history of the show is on this show, and it will have the original commercials. So you want to come here for the first show, Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We will, of course, have the early bird chat at 8.30 Eastern Time. And uh, in case you can't make it, be sure you are a subscriber of the channel you get to watch VODs for up to 60 days from the uh, original uh, live stream. So uh, if you can't make it, it'll be archived there for you if you're a subscriber. Right. Okay, so I will see you Monday night. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for helping me to win 2 million fake dollars. Good night, everyone.